Good morning, everybody. Another Sunday is here, another weekend. Hope you guys are making the most of it, wherever you are. The snow is finally starting to melt here. It's going to be really warm today. It's supposed to get above zero today, I think, and tomorrow it's supposed to go well above zero to like plus seven. Which means most of this should start to melt. But we don't want to get too excited yet because this is Manitoba and we might have another cold spell yet. I just got these guys at home with me today. Brit's at her mom's house and has the little guys there. Left me with the big guys. So we've been having a, a guys weekend. Hanging out, eating pizza, wrestling. Oh, Diesel, that's not okay. No, that's not part of Guy's Weekend. That's weird. Get him. Oh, Diesel, let him go. Don't get him like that. Gotta be careful what I say. Okay. <laughs> Chevy, get him back. He just takes it. Well... It's that time, taking down the Christmas lights. Some of them anyway. Oh, your lens is all dirty, thanks. What have you guys been up to? Thanks, dirty. So we're just taking down the red and green. You can see on the side here, I had red and green on top. Here we have the icicle lights on the bottom. I'm actually taking the icicle lights from the front yard and our white lights that, uh, match them here, white string lights. I'm actually going to keep them up around the backyard and putting them along the fence on that side as well so that we have light out here at night. We do have this solar light here, which works great. However, I have to move that solar panel from there to a spot where it gets more sunlight. You see sun's coming over there. It never quite hits it directly. So maybe next weekend or sometime this summer anyways, I've got to move that on top of the roof somewhere where to get direct light, but uh, yeah, that lights up this area here pretty well, but doesn't obvi obviously doesn't get behind the sheds and stuff where the dogs go at night. And uh, after the dogs go outside, we have to come out and clean up after them and we need to be able to see where it is so that we can pick it up and not step in it, right? So for now, I'm gonna hang these icicle lights along this fence here and along that fence there on the side. And I'm going to do all of our string lights up and down the posts, I guess, or at least across the top anyway, in the back there so that we can see behind it. This summer, what our plans are eventually are to get uh, patio lights, like string patio lights that we can hang all the way around the backyard. That'll look a lot better. But for now, you know, the white lights from Christmas will, will work. I, I'm just trying to get the red and green out of there so that, uh, you know, it seems less out of season because we love Christmas but if we leave the lights up all year round it's not special when we turn them back on or put them back up in in fall or in at Christmas time right so I like to take them down and then it's a special time putting the Christmas lights back up next year so just white lights in the back I think that's okay for year round Got to be very careful not to lose any of these staples. I don't want them in the yard in case the dogs lick them up thinking they're some kind of treat or something. Wouldn't be good. Guys want to come back out? Your paws warmed up? It's not very cold out there today, but I still didn't want them out there all day. Give me a little warm-up session. You want to come back out? Come on. Of course you do. Of course you do. Wanna help me with the Christmas lights, man? No? You wanna go fight? Okay. See, they're all the way down, all the way back there. And all the way around here. Starting there, I'm gonna clean them all up. Mm. 
and the finished product. I think it's gonna look nice at night and light up the yard nicely. Look at this. All the way around. To here. All the way up and down the poles. I'll have to show you them at night. You see, I only went down far enough to here uh, so that they don't pee on the wires. And then on this side, you also have the icicles all the way out into here on this side of the yard. It's going to look awesome at night. I've got one more string left though that I don't know what to do with. We'll find a home for it yet. So I still have to take those red and green lights off the house yet. I took them off of everything else all around the front. I took all the white lights down and repurposed them in the backyard to light up our backyard more so we can see at night like I was telling you before. I think Britt's really going to like it. Uh, I haven't told her that I've done that yet. So we'll see what her reaction will be. She's getting back later tonight. She's going to have supper in Winnipeg and then come home after. So she'll be home this evening and it'll be dark by then. So I'll be able to show her and show myself what it looks like at that point and show you guys. I think it'll look good, but hopefully she likes it. But anyways, either way, it'll light up the yard for now until we can get our string patio lights. So in the meantime, I'm going to go out and uh, get a few things at the store, do a little bit of grocery shopping. I don't need much, uh, just a few things for the upcoming week. I got to fill this truck up with gas. So it's full for Monday. I'm not going to bother washing it this weekend because it's been so cold for the past two weeks that my truck stayed clean. I haven't had to wash it. Uh, this next week is going to be really warm, so it's going to get really messy. It's going to get really dirty. So I figure we'll just wash it next weekend. So tomorrow is back to work. I've got one more week doing what I'm doing right now with the little 28 foot pup trailer and the truck I'm in. And then, uh, after that, the following week on the Monday, I'm going back to what I was doing before somewhat. Uh, it's not going to be long distance, like over to Newfoundland or BC right now. Uh, that chapter of my life has still closed. We're still trying to start a family, but I'm going back to pulling some of the same stuff I was before. You know, I'll have a 53 foot van trailer behind me. I'll have a different truck. Uh, I'll be doing some flat bedding. Uh, I've just got to sit down and we're going to work out the social media policy so that uh, I know exactly what I can and can't share with you guys in my videos and stuff just so that's out of the way. Um, but it's going to be going back to what I was doing before, uh, pulling the same kind of stuff I was before. That's after this week. So we'll talk about that more as it comes closer. Um, but with making a social media policy, I'm actually kind of excited about that. That's sort of what I've... Uh, wanted to do in the past you see that way uh it's all written on paper you know, what i can and can't share i can also help you guys then know where i'm at and invite you to come work with me where i'm at that's coming in the future too i don't know all the details yet so just hang tight on that like i said i'm going to sit down with with them and we're going to work it all out get it all written down on paper so that we're all on the same page and then i'll be able to start sharing a lot more with you and it'll make the storyline of the day flow a lot better because i know lately that i've been jumping back and forth in the truck and it's very hard for people to follow what i'm doing and where i'm at especially somebody who doesn't know winnipeg i understand and uh you know i was talking to my friends co-workers uh family my wife about my videos and they've all said the same thing you know when i was over the road it was very easy to make a storyline you know we're going from point a to point b it's gonna take four days let's go that's the story but now that i've got shorter trips i haven't quite been connecting the dots properly and i know you've noticed this as well but i want you to know that uh, that's going to get fixed and I'm excited uh, to be able to start sharing a lot more with you. I'll be able to tell the storyline of my day a lot better, show you what I'm pulling, show you what I'm hauling as I'm loading it up if I'm on flatbed, when I'm tying it down, chaining it down. Uh, it'll be 53 foot van trailer. Maybe I'll even be able to show you uh, what we're pulling around in that as well. Like I said, we're gonna sit down and work that all out. But by the sounds of it, uh, I'm gonna have a lot more uh, freedom to share uh, what I'm doing. So I'm excited to get that storyline going and also invite you to come work 
with me where I'm at uh, because they're they're hurting for drivers right now. They're busy, busy. They need drivers, and uh, I want to see if any of you want to come work with me at the same place. Okay, that's gonna happen in the next week. Okay, we're gonna go Monday to Friday. What I'm doing now with the little 28 foot pup. The following week we'll start with that. Let me sit down with them first, and then we'll talk more about that. But we're gonna go into Walmart right now because what else do we do on the weekend? They're open on Sundays now. Steinbach's going crazy. I know, I know. We're all going to hell, I know. Ah, oh, shoot, I forgot to bring my mask. That's what I was gonna go inside. I just installed a new little plug outlet thing on my truck here, and I was thinking to myself, hmm, I better get my mask that's more comfortable to wear because I'll be in the store for a while and I don't want to wear these uncomfortable temporary ones for that long. And then by the time I was finished messing around with the plug, it was gone. So I guess we're going au temporaire. Au temp I'm trying to be French. That's not French at all, is it? Okay. Well, here we go. While I was working outside, my neighbors were having a bonfire. Now I smell like bonfire. It's a good cologne, I think. Ready to go. Okay. We gotta get a few things here. Anybody lose a glove? I found it. Well, that went well. Still, just this stuff here, 75 bucks. Mostly it's that uh, 25 bucks for the laundry detergent. So, she's not that dirty at all, eh? I mean, I don't think she needs a wash this weekend. Got a little bit of dirt down here, but that's just from coming here because the roads are so bad today. I think it'll be fine. Ugh. She'll get a nice bath next weekend. Hopefully, well, it's going to take a while for all this snow to melt. It'll be a couple of months. I was going to say hopefully the snow will be gone by then, but that is wishful thinking. But we can hope. $36.50 big ones. $36.50. $36 that made it sound weird. $36.50 of gasoline. Gas prices went up again. It was $1.06 per liter last week. Now it's $1.16.9. So I realize $1.17. See what they did there? Dollar seventeen. Should have bought gas last. Oh, I did buy gas last week. I buy gas every weekend. I like to start off the week, like I said, with full tank of gas, clean truck. Oh, I get around here now. Okay, can I get through here? Mr. Paul's hauling is unloading fuel here now. I don't want to get in his way. But at the same time, he is in my way. But he's working, and I'm not. So I'll give him. I'll give him that. All right, I'm gonna go back home. Uh, Britt is still in Winnipeg, so she should be home in a couple of hours, I'm guessing. Uh, pretty much, I cleaned the house today. I mopped the floors, it's true, and I vacuumed. Took down most of the Christmas lights, set up the new lights. Uh, what else did I do? I did almost all the laundry in the house. I'm running out of things to do. That's why I came out to get some groceries and stuff for the week and fill up the truck with gas. And now we're gonna go home and I don't know, got one more cycle of laundry to do and then I guess I'll just sit around and play PS4. Maybe we'll watch some YouTube, I don't know. We'll see. Gotta be awake early tomorrow. Gotta go bring people their stuff again, drive some trucks. Looking forward to it. Oh, let's go back here and check out the lights. See, so that lights up there. That's that solar light lights up this middle area here. And then we took down all the red and green lights. So it's not so Christmassy all the way around the yard. But when we come out here to clean up after the dogs, we need to be able to see where we're walking. And plus when we have bonfires out here, we want to be able to have a little bit of more light around the yard, right? But not too much. 
So I put these icicles all the way around here. They come to the back here. And then back here. It looks nice. I like it. Lights it up nicely. And it's not so Christmassy with, uh, without the red and green. So that when we put the red and green back up next Christmas, it's, you know, special. What do you guys think? What do you think, Chevy? <laughs> That's awesome. That worked out really well. And this is what it looks like without that sensor light on over there. See, it's just a soft light. It doesn't, so it's not blinding us or anything when we're in the backyard. Just enough to light it up a bit. Well, boys, you think mom's gonna be impressed with everything I did today? Huh? I think so, look at this. There's a laundry done, got one more load to do down there. I changed the couch covers, I vacuumed and mopped and changed and washed all the bedding. She can come home and we can sleep in nice, under nice fresh blankets and on clean sheets. I'm trying hard here. Am I doing it right? I'm trying. And that's it, I think it turned out well. Britt is home now. She's all ready for bed already though, so we'll have to say hi to her tomorrow in the morning, but she had a good weekend. What did you think of the lights? They're beautiful. She says they're beautiful. Took all day to get that done. But we got most of the lights off of the house. Like I said, just the red and green around the house yet. Uh, we don't turn them on anymore. They're not even plugged in, they're not hooked up, but I gotta take them down next weekend, I guess. And then, uh, We'll see, and then we can talk more about what I was saying before about the next week, uh, next weekend. Did that make sense? Talk about the next week, next weekend. Oh, I'm getting tired too. See you tomorrow. Back to trucking.